Hi, I'm Noah Robichon from Fast Company. Welcome to Tech Tuesday. I'm here, as always, with Mark Wilson. You may have noticed that Microsoft introduced a new head-mounted device called the HoloLens. Uh, I think it's another segue for your face. Mark, uh, you seem to have a little better feeling about it. Why do you like the HoloLens? Look, I, I agree there's a big problem with all of these face wearables, I guess. What do we call them? Do we call them glasses? I don't even know. But they, they look horrible. They look ridiculous. But what I think is interesting about the HoloLens is um, it adds a whole new level of, of interacting with our world, right? Like, so our cell phone put... Uh, a computer in our pockets, and this basically puts a computer in front of us, anywhere we want. And I think there are just incredible use case possibilities for that. I guess, but like, why do I really need something attached <laughs> to my face? I mean, I've got an iPhone already, I can just wear a headband with it. I noticed. I don't know that Microsoft needs to show up when we have your headband. All right, here though, Google Glass recently announced that they're gonna close down the consumer end of that business. They're getting out. Um, I think Oculus Rift, I mean, it may, it may explode in the gaming world. So what's the potential for the greater market here versus this being, you know, something that we look back on in 10 years and say it was the segue for your face? Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, I, I think w one mistake we're making, though, is grouping all of these face glasses technologies is one thing. And I actually think they're all very different. So you, you have the Oculus Rift or the Samsung stuff, and that, that is a video game you can play at home, right? Or, or an immersive movie. Then you have like what Google Glass tried, which is very different, which was a lightweight notification engine on your face. And then you have the HoloLens, or you have uh, the Magic Leap, which is like an, actually an augmented reality system that, that puts things in, and makes them float in your environment. And so all three of these things are they're very different technologies. Um, but in the case of like a Magic Leap or a HoloLens, um, I think the real breakthrough is actually cloud computing because what nobody's really talking about that these technologies do isn't just in the display itself, but actually that they're mapping the world around you into sort of one shared mappable experience. Um, and, and so that opens up, you know, that opens up all sorts of different experiences we could have. And 10 years ago, that would have been complete sci-fi. So Google acquired Magic Leap pretty recently. Are they gonna come out with a new head-mounted technology to compete with Microsoft in, the, in some time in the near future? I don't know, I feel like Google Glass, I think, struck out, right? It has to be some level of humiliation for the company. I don't think they have another fail in them. My question is, will they, will they pursue Magic Leap as a separate thing than Glass, or will they keep it under the Glass umbrella? So to me, it's less a technological question than it is almost a branding question and a positioning question as to what they, what they view the, the future of head-mounted displays to be. All right, Mark and I want to know what you think about the race for your face. Does it have a future? Tweet to us, hashtag 29th floor, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.